You can start and stop the SAP HANA instance via the command line and with SAP HANA Studio. We describe both methods in this video. By default, starting the SAP HANA instance also starts the tenant databases, but it's of course also possible to start and stop them individually. You can also disable the automatic startup for one or more tenants. The commands to start and stop an SAP HANA instance are operations implemented as options of the HDB command, as shown here. These commands run in the foreground, that is, the server session remains blocked until the process finishes. If you want to do other things, such as monitoring the trace files, during startup or shutdown, then you must open an extra session on the database server. In SAP HANA Studio, you find the functions to start, stop, and restart, stop and start, the system when you right-click a connection to the system database, not a tenant database. You then see the option Start System, Stop System, and Restart System in the context menu, as shown here. Choose Start System from the context menu. Confirm in the pop-up window that you want to start the system now. The status of the services on the processes screen will gradually change from yellow to green, this screen refreshes every few seconds. The instance is fully started when all services are green. Choose Stop System from the context menu. The pop-up window will appear, here you choose between a soft shutdown, which waits for all active sessions to end, and a hard shutdown, which kills and rolls back the currently open transactions. For a soft shutdown, you can also specify a timeout. If there are still open sessions at the end of the timeout period, SAP HANA Studio will do a hard shutdown. The default timeout period is 10 minutes. As soon as the shutdown sequence begins, the statuses of the services on the processes screen will start to change from green to yellow. When the shutdown is complete, only the HDB daemon service will be listed with a red status icon. This option shuts down and immediately restarts the instance. Choose Restart System from the context menu. As when stopping the system, you can choose between a soft shutdown, with a timeout, and a hard shutdown. While the start or stop process is ongoing, it's interesting, and necessary, if there's trouble, to look at the instance trace files. In SAP HANA Studio, you can do so by opening the Diagnosis Files tab, to the right of the Processes tab. The trace file you may want to look at first is the one for the HDB daemon process. Double-click the name to display the contents of the file. The screen will show the most recent messages, you can enable an auto-refresh function, right-hand side of the toolbar, so that you always get up-to-date status information. By default, the tenant databases start up automatically when the SAP HANA instance starts. It's possible to change this behavior with following SQL statement. To reinstate the automatic start, use this statement. These operations require a connection to the system database. You can use three methods for this. Tenant databases can be started and stopped manually with these statements, also when connected to the system database. In the database directory window, open a connection to the system database. In database overview, choose database management, if you don't see this button, then you're in a tenant database. On the next screen, there's a stop or start button to the right of each tenant. There is no specific function in SAP HANA Studio to stop and start tenant databases. To do this, open a SQL console for a system database connection and use the alter system start database stop database statements. To check the instance status from the server command line, use HDB info. If the instance is running, you'll see the HDB daemon process with the service processes underneath it. The presence of one or more HDB index server processes indicates that the tenant databases are also active. To see the status of all databases, use the following query when connected to the system database. The active status column shows the current state of the tenant database. If active status is no, then active status details gives the reason the tenant is down, for example, because it was stopped manually or because auto restart is disabled. The M databases view only provides information about all databases when executed in the system database. The view also exists for the tenant databases, but there it only shows the data for the tenant itself. 
Stopping the SAP HANA instance using any of the methods we saw previously does not end the SAP start service process itself. This is fine, there's normally no need to stop it, and its resource use is close to nothing. There may be exceptional situations, however, when you do want to stop the service process. Furthermore, the start service has numerous management and information functions that you might want to make use of. All communication with the SAP Start Service process is done using another program, SAP Control. This program interfaces with the service process using web service calls. A SAP Control command generally takes this form. Here, XX is the two-digit SAP HANA instance number, service name is the name of the service function you want to call, and parameters represents the parameters to be passed to the service function. There are more command line arguments than this, but only NR and function are mandatory. Use SAP Control H for a list of all options and all service functions with their parameters. To stop the service process, use this command. The service will normally stop almost immediately. It's safe to do this even while the SAP HANA instance is running. This is because, as we mentioned earlier, SAP Start Service is not attached to the SAP HANA process tree, the process at the top of the tree is SAP Start. However, as long as the service process is stopped, you can't use HDB to stop or start SAP HANA because it needs to interact with SAP Start Service. To restart the service process, use this command. Notice that the start service function has the HSID as a mandatory parameter. There is also a function to restart, stop and start the service as follows.